Before you go to graduate school, you also need to be clear about what the point or purpose of a PhD programme is. What is it trying to do? What's it trying to find out about you? The thing to realise is the PhD programme has several purposes, one of which is spoken about, the other main one isn't spoken about so much. Firstly, of course, it's designed to see if you have what it takes to be a successful scholar. First of all, do you have the skills, the abilities, the capacities that a scholar in your discipline or area will need, such as mathematics if you're an economist, research skills if you're a historian, and things of that sort. It's also, of course, designed to see if you can produce a genuinely original piece of scholarship that makes a contribution to the scholarly discussion in your discipline. Now, that's the form of the PhD which everyone is familiar with. However, a PhD also has another purpose. Basically, it's designed to see if you have an obsessive personality. Quite seriously, it's designed to see if you have the qualities of persistence, tunnel vision and single-minded focus that you're going to need to be successful in an academic and scholarly career. Are you really interested in academic life, in ideas, to the exclusion of a number of other things? Do you have that quality of stickability and persistence that you're going to need to get through those points where you do almost anything else rather than do your research and work? As I said originally, have you got a slight quality of obsessiveness? If you manage to complete successfully, then you'll have shown, in addition to showing that you've got the academic ability, that you've also got certain qualities of character. Qualities of character that you're going to need to be a successful scholar and academic. And that's just as important as the other aspect of the programme.